Hello, hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Yeah, today we haven't seen much price action, a little bit of downside, but not overall anything unexpected or, well, nothing major really. And I think the markets are going to be quiet until we see the Fed interest rate decision in a couple of days. The uh, market is currently pricing in rate reductions or they have already been priced in. But yeah, we might not see much action until we get the final decision. Um, in a couple of days, okay, it's like two days and Wednesday will be an interesting day. So it's going to be a, another decisive week. But the overall scenarios I'm watching for here haven't changed. In the previous video, I think, um, or was it just in one of the updates to gold members? I can't remember if I actually gave you a resistance area in the previous video. I might have. Um, we've already seen in the previous video that there was or that there is a five wave move down from the September high. We've got five waves down, which I'm labeling wave A of circle B. There could be a B wave rally from here and then a C wave decline afterwards. A, B, C. The B wave is typically quite weak when the A wave is a five wave move. So A wave in five, B wave in three, C wave in five is a possibility. Resistance doesn't need to be adjusted yet. Okay, so it's between 59,100 and well 60,000 pretty much yeah I've got it here at 59,998 but that's pretty much 60k so um, if the A wave is a five wave move the B wave should normally not break above the 78.6 retracement if it does it might be a first indication that the blue scenario is unfolding we talk about that in a minute but overall my view is at the moment that um, the white scenario is more probable so we've got here a five wave move up which I've labeled circle A in white. And then this could be an A wave down, watching for B and then C. Important is that obviously to maintain an overall bullish perspective, you know, and that a C wave rally could start from there. So that's the idea. This could be a, an area that the price might use as a jump off point to start a C wave into the mid 60K region, high 60K region. Important is that we are holding above the 54,000 280 level. Why is this so important? Because any break below 54,280 would rather emphasize more bearish scenarios and would open the trapdoor down to round about 43k. Okay, so that's a key level. It's a key Fibonacci support area we're watching here. And be aware that due to the volatility we have to expect later in the week due to the rate reduction, you know, a lot can happen here. So just make sure that you are prepared for both scenarios. For me, 54,280 is the key level here that really shouldn't be broken. At least the price should not break and sustain below it to maintain an upside scenario. Um, it is possible that the blue scenario is working out here. It is a little bit more difficult. It's a diagonal pattern to the upside where we have blue wave one, blue wave two. This is an AB with a C wave to come and then wave four or five. This, however, I see this as less likely because this decline looks like a three, uh, like a five wave move. So it looks more like the white A wave because a B wave as shown here in blue cannot really be a five wave move. Now it can always be that I'm misinterpreting this. Okay, therefore I will not rule out the blue scenario, but if this is the blue count, it should really form a low very, very soon. And therefore, I am watching for higher prices in the very short term as well, at least in white wave B, at least in white wave B. The blue C wave should obviously, you know, lead to a rally possibly into the 63, 64K area. So and that, that is pretty much what we're watching for. Bear in mind, later in the week, we have to expect high volatility. And maybe overnight, you know, maybe in the Asia session, we're going to see a bit of a B wave rally there. Some coins like Bitcoin are currently forming interesting structures, not many, but some like, for example, Sui, Rune, they're covered in the in the gold membership, um, Fetch AI covered that today. They are also showing at least some potential. I think these are the best setups at the moment. Everything else is it's a big mess. OK, so um, yeah. And tomorrow we're going to cover the daily chart again. I'm not going to do that now because there is just not much to report. So I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram 
and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.